my YouTube channel, everybody. It's your girl, Eyeglass TV. I'm looking like in this instead of the lens. I'm looking here. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. It's your girl, Eyeglass TV. And today I will be doing a high school advice question video for all my high school grade level kids. Incoming freshmen that's in middle school for any middle schoolers watching and everything like that. So, this is my first video doing this. So, hopefully, it goes good. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend to view my channel. And if you don't, I don't know what to tell you because you're missing out on good advice. With further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so I had different people that I know that's I left high school and that's entering high school to ask me some questions. And I have them all on my phone right here for y'all. And let's get into the first question. First question is, were you able to work in high school and how many hours a week? I started working when I was like 14 at, um, uh, I was a junior counselor with foster kids and like orphan kids, you could say. So as I was like working before I even went into high school, I believe it was like my ninth grade year. I believe, yeah, my ninth grade year but before I went to high school, I was doing that. And then I decided my 10th grade year, I had got a job at Starbucks. That's going to be another video I'm going to do on jobs you can work in high school that's like student friendly that you guys should work and want to work if I was y'all. I worked at Starbucks. Um, I got hired when I was like 16 years old. So I started working there. I was working at least 20 hours. I was part time, but I used to pick up hours a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot on weekends too. I worked Monday through Friday. I worked Saturdays and Sundays in the morning so I could have the weekends like really off to myself, like afternoons and nighttime. So that was like the best thing that my manager did. And everyone I worked with was like very family oriented. So it was a good workspace for me, honestly. I like working there. I used to go leave school. Um, my job was like at least 15 minutes away from my school. So I used to just take the little mover to go to work and I used to walk the rest of the way and I used to wait there until it was time to clock in. I just did some school work as it was, you know, time to me to clock in. And I used to work like at least 20, 20 hours, 25, 25. When I got up until my senior year, that's when I started picking up a little bit more shifts. But I just worked part-time hours cause I was still a minor so I couldn't really go over my hours cause the job would get in trouble for that. But I still was like working a lot of hours. Second question I got is, did you meet lifelong friends? Um, I would say yes, I did. You can say that. <laughs> my one of my best friends, Keith, I met him in high school. We met in AP class, and we're still friends to this day. I also have a friend. Her name is Kennedy. Me and her still talk to, and I have some other friends that I be talking to from high school. But it's not like on a everyday base how me and Keith is. So yeah, I would say you meet friends, but it's like lifelong friends, but it's not like an everyday friendship. You could say it's low maintenance, as you could say. It's not like an everyday friendship where it's like high maintenance. Y'all call each other every day, how I was in high school, no. But you're still friends. Like if they were saying about you to your wedding, you could invite them to your wedding, it's that type of friendship. Okay, next question is, did you take any AP classes or honor classes? I took my 11th grade year, no. I think it was my 11th or my 12th grade year. I took AP and I took honors because I took AP so it could help, help boost my GPA. And I took honors to also help boost my GPA and so it could be on my transcript for college. And if y'all want a college advice video, let me know because I'll be gladly to do one of those to take both classes. <clears throat> one AP and one honors in school. I did a lot of virtual classes that helped me out. I did virtual honor classes. Um, I took all my math classes on there. From Florida Virtual School. If you're from Florida, you know about Florida Virtual School, FLBS. I had also taken, I think I did take one AP class on virtual. I'm not sure. If I'm not mistaken, I think I did. But for what I know, I know I took one AP class, which was environmental science. Because that was like an easy class for me to take anyways. Next question is, did you date in high school? Y'all. <laughs> okay, in high school... I 
wasn't really allowed to date, but I had a boyfriend. I did. Me and him was going out for like a couple of months, I could say. We was going out. And then we had broke up. And then I was talking to other people. And <laughs> no, for real. But hear me out. Hear me out. I was talking to other people, but at the same time, um, we was broken up. So I had a boyfriend. I only had two boyfriends without within high school. My twelfth grade year was my one of my closest friends I dated. <sighs> yeah, I dated him my twelfth grade year in high school. We were boyfriends and girlfriends. And yeah, that was like my last relationship within school wise. Like that type of school then. So yeah. I had him and I had another person. So next question is, what extracurricular activities did you participate in? Which extracurricular activities did you do you recommend? I did extracurricular activities. I did FBLA. I also was um a make not a major ed. I was an auxiliary. I did band stuff. I didn't actually play an instrument. I was just one of the dancers. Um, I did that. I did color guard with the flags and everything like that. FBLA. I did DECA. What else I did? I also played water polo. I was a goalie. I did that. That was a sport. I do recommend you all to do FBLA and DECA because those programs and like activities really do help you out in the long run with community service hours. And, you know, it kind of gives you more of an experience of like if you want to continue yourself in like business or anything like that. That's a very good networking event that they have for students in high school. I will totally 100% recommend FBLA and DECA two top programs and water polo band as well if you want to lose some weight get out the house go look at football games be a part of the memories of each game and like you know make build bonds with the girls on the team i would definitely say do auxiliary and like dancing and all cheering all that type of stuff but if you're the type of person if you're trying to get community service hours oh wait you, we did get community service hours for doing auxiliary i say do all of them do every extracurricular activity that you could do because listen, the more community service hours you get, the more you, the ropes you get around your neck. Think about that. That's what I did. I thought about that. So, also, once I got a job, I kind of fell off of all my extracurricular activities. I wasn't really as active as I was, but I did find time to like try to do everything. So, I will say, if you're going to do all that stuff, make sure you have a schedule so you can really have everything jotted down, how you want to do it, and what time, do, what you have time for, because you do need time for your studies. Yeah. How did I deal with girl drama? Y'all, let me say y'all, the high school I went to was messy. Okay? Messy. Me messy. I went to a very, it wasn't like a, a well-known, you could say black school, how in Miami it is. Like, all the black schools, like Miami Carey City, Northwest, Central, and all that. I didn't go to those type of schools. I went to like a white school where it was like at least... Two to five percent of black people, and two to five percent of black people that went there was amongst each other, did not like each other, and was real messy. It was just, uh, it was a lot. I was involved in some girl drama I did. It was with an old friend of mine. Um, we kind of went our separate ways due to the girl drama stuff, and it was also involved with a guy, one of my ex boyfriends, I would say. So it was like something like that. You can say I don't want to get too much into it because it's the past and it's long gone. But how I dealt with it was I just cut everybody off and I just went on about my life. That's the best way to be. Ne never let drama get to you in school because when it gets to you in school, then it's going to interfere with your day-to-day -day life, honestly. Like you have to see these people every single day. You have to sit in class. You have to, it's a lot. Just don't try to get involved in no drama because it's really not worth it. And you don't want to be kicked out of school or anything like that due to drama. It's not worth it. You don't want to be labeled as no drama girl or stay away. You don't want that. Just don't even interfere with anybody that's in drama. Just stay your distance and let them do all the drama. You just don't because that's not a good look for you. Stay exclusive. If you stay exclusive, nobody knows nothing about you. Nobody don't don't even know who you talk to. If you gonna date somebody, y'all, let me tell y'all, this is for my girls and this is for my men, my boys. If y'all gonna date, date somebody who is low-key and that does not run their mouth, I'm telling you, it's, it's worth it. That don't run their mouth. If you're gonna date like somebody real special, that you re do it, do it with somebody that's not in school or somebody that you see on a day-to-day -day basis but not in school. 
that's the best advice I can give y'all. Stay exclusive. Never give yourself too much. Don't be like some girl that don't do that. Just always be a calm, collect girl with a nice, you know, image for yourself. Because at the end of the day, it'll get you, you know, it'll get you far in the long run. Don't be no girl getting exposed, get being a trauma getting talked about, being all type of T pay. Don't just don't be that girl. Stay in school, so I'll tell y'all. Next question is, what was my favorite thing about high school and what did I hate about high school? My favorite thing about high school was me to want to do better and like get up and do stuff and actually learn what I'm really learning. I really liked math class. I would say I, I'm bad in math, but in all reality, I'm really good at math. But I really liked math and learning the math and making the numbers and stuff like that. That was something that I liked doing. And like that was my favorite thing because it helped me at work and stuff. Like you, you need to know all this type of stuff when you about to go to work. You need to know how to learn. I mean, read, write, count, all type of stuff. Like you know, I'm telling you. But my only thing I didn't like about it was just the drama. And he didn't let us wear our regular clothes no more at school, even though I still was wearing uniform stuff. But he still didn't let us wear our regular clothes. So that was like the only thing about it. It was just the drama and the school, the clothes. That's it is what was a life lesson I learned in high school a life lesson I would say I learned in high school is don't tell nobody your business never 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 don't tell nobody your business don't think nobody your friend for real don't put y'all all in no man we're young we're in high school don't fall too deeply in love I'm telling you don't do it it's, it's really not worth it I would say that and what I learned was if you see something that's for you, go for it. Don't hesitate to do it. Because I was been supposed to start my YouTube channel in high school. I never did because I was procrastinating. I want to do everything in high school. I want to be a damn photographer. I want to do everything. But my life lesson was I sh don't procrastinate on something that you know that's for you. Next question is, did I attend any football or basketball games? I did attend football and basketball games because, like I told y'all, I was an auxiliary dancer. So we went with the band to football games and bas some basketball games. I remember going to some basketball games when we did have to perform with my friend Kennedy, Alex, and um, Ashley, and some few other friends. We used to go and go to the games and stuff after school. It was cool. It was just some of the stuff. I remember those. Oh my God. I remember that. I love them. All right. Next question is where you. <laughs> Were you well known in high school? No, I was a regular girl. Like I, I was no popular girl. I wasn't none of that. I was a regular girl. Like just regular. I knew a few people, but I didn't know everybody. Like mm. my friend Kennedy, she knew everybody. Everybody knew her. That school was nipple. That school was well known. Everyone knew Kennedy. Literally. Next question is why do schools have rivals? I think. Schools have rivals because of, you know, that's just how it was in history. Like, all people have rivals with all high schools. Like, any school that wasn't your school, oh, if they ask, bitch, we'll be child ass, all that type of shit, rah, rah, kiki, la, la, yeah, all that. I think that's just like a history thing that, that people do, you know what I'm trying to say? Because it's like alumni, it's just something they built on years and years and years and years. So it's just like, that's just something that they have, and that's going to be for years, decades, however they want to put it. Next question is, did you let go any high school conflicts? Um, I actually did. Once I graduated high school, I had let go all of my high school drama. I had put that in the past behind me, literally, because it wasn't worth it. You know, um, I tried to make some things work. Things still didn't work out how it was supposed to work out. So I just let it go. And what's for me was for me. I just had to let it go because at the end of the day, who wants to hold on to drama from, like, Four years ago? Yeah, four years ago. Who wants to hold on to that? No, five years ago. So who wants to hold on to drama like that? That's like irrelevant to me, honestly. It's either we're going to make it work or we're not. If not, then we're going to go on about our lives because sooner or later we're all adults now. So it's no need to like really just prolong drama. You know, it's what can I do? I can't do nothing. Next question is, am I still friends with anybody from high school? Yes, I am. I am friends with a couple of people from high school who I'm really good friends with. So next question is, why do higher grade levels play down on freshmen? I'm 
wish I knew that question for real. Well, not question, answer. But I would just say they just downplay because you know. I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that question. That's all the questions for this video. Now I'm going to get into my advice for all of my upcoming 12th graders, seniors, you will say, call yourself. I would definitely say make sure you do good on your SAT, ACT, score, is high, score high so you can't get scholarships to go to school. Colleges, use your free waivers to apply to three of your top three choices of universities that you want to go to. Use those waivers to pay. I'm telling you, applying for school is expensive and it got even more expensive now. It was probably like $25, $30, maybe $40 back, back then. It's like $75, like just to apply. Oh, girl. But um, just do that. Use those waivers as much as you can. Also, I will say, um take as many classes as you can because i graduated with 33 34 credits more than what i'm supposed to graduate with i also took um a lot of virtual classes that helped out with gpa and also taught me a little bit more so i could be more advanced when i go to college some of those credits i did take and transfer to my university i took at least two dual enrollment classes i will highly push out dual enrollment if you can take dual enrollment from your sophomore year up to your 12th grade year get it done because when you graduate high school you will already have your associates that's like more money that you could be putting in your pocket honestly more money that you can save instead of like putting into a university also i will say is juniors start practicing your sat act getting those scores to as high as it can be because let me tell you that score is what's going to get you more money in your pocket for school if you can score the top of the top of the top listen apply from scholarship they can't tell you nothing your sat and your act matches your gpa you're unstoppable make sure your college essays are very 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 like structured and like straight to the point and you know i would say somewhat vulnerable so they can see that okay well i can see this i can see that yes and if you're a first generation always apply for first generation scholarships they're going to get you far i my sink my senior year me and a friend my high school friend alex me and her did a burger a burger king scholarship internship and we were working at the Burger Kings, the working at the Burger Kings, and we was getting like a thousand dollar scholarship at the end of the semester. And we used to leave school early because we already had our school and stuff done our eleventh grade year. So our twelfth grade year was an easy breeze. My twelfth grade year, I only had two classes, which was AP and the uh, advanced math. Yes, advanced math. That was the only two classes that I really had, and the rest of them was just regular. Love electives that I had. I would highly suggest you guys do that because it's very, very helpful. Getting your academics done early in school saves you less of a hassle so you can do more in 12th grade year. Also with working, if you're going to work, get your academics together early so you can be able to work and don't have to like really be so drained. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. Don't do that because then it's going to be like a wear and tear and you really don't want that for yourself. I would highly suggest that you guys get your academics done early and actually know what you're doing with your schoolwork because if you don't know what you're doing then you're just doing it to do it because if you really think about it i'm a, i'm 22 now and everything that i learned in high school somewhat did help me in the real world with some stuff not everything though but some stuff it did so i would highly suggest you guys really do focus on your academics because those help and if you're thinking about going to university make sure you do that dual enrollment have the school pay for your classes if your GPA is above a 2.0 or 2.5, I believe, I think it's a 2.5, 2.4 or 2.5. If it's one of those or higher, do dual enrollment. Get those classes done, I'm telling you. If you go to university, make sure you want to go to university in-state so you can get the in-state tuition. A scholarship program that some of the states offer for different universities that you go to. Um, yeah, I think that's really most that I could cover. Sports. Be the best at it if you can, and if you see yourself going far with it, make it the best that you could do. I'm telling you now, future reference. I wish I had, I'm not going to say I wish, but I could have gone far with water polo. I just chose not to do it because I just thought it was just a high school thing. I didn't really see myself going far with it, but a lot of people did see me going far with it. I got a lot of university offers to go play for a few schools. I just rejected them because I just felt like it wasn't for me. Now, did I wish I have done that? Maybe so, but I mean, it's okay. You make the wrong choices, you learn from them. But 
I will say, if you're going to do something in high school, if you see yourself doing this for a long term or period of time, go for it. Be the best at it. Do what you got to do to get there. But I will say, make sure your academics are good because if you want any schooling to be paid for or if you want to actually go far in life, just make sure your academics are exceeding, like, excellent. Like, they're excellent because you're going to need that in the long run. Especially if you graduate and Sorry, the camera cut off. It's especially if you decide not to go to college right as soon as you graduate, at least on your high school transcript when you do decide to go to college, they can see like on your transcript, okay, she took these classes, she did really good in these classes, oh, her GPA was really good, so let's give her a shot. And then your favorite teacher, make sure you get letters of recommendations. Always try to get letters of recommendations. Always keep them in your files. Anytime you graduate high school, or whoever, whenever y'all graduate, honestly, make sure you always have the school send you a copy of your high school transcript so you can have them for yourself. So when you do graduate, you have that. So you have to go through the hassle of like trying to get in contact with them. Because sometimes schools don't be really want to send out no transcripts for people that just graduated years on. You know, you graduated. I graduated 2020. If you graduated in 2020 and you want to go back to school in 2024, it's going to take them people a minute to get your transcript. So I advise anybody that's upcoming now, that's getting ready to graduate or future upcoming juniors or whatever grade level, make sure you get all of your documentation. Your CAP advisors, make sure you have a good relationship with your guidance counselor. I had a really good relationship with my guidance counselor. Guidance counsel counselor. counselor, I really loved her. I did. I got on her nerves every damn day, y'all. Like, I... Got on her nerves so bad, the whole office knew me. That's how bad I was not playing. But I'm telling y'all, build a relationship with them. Your cap advisor, even if your cap advisor, look, my, my cap advisor told me, do you really want to go to Auburn? Do you really want? She was really trying to down talk me a play, girl. Hello, don't play with me. And guess what? I got into Auburn and I got some scholarships for Auburn. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. You can do it. Don't, I'm telling you, prove people wrong. When you know it's for you. If that's something you want to do, you do it. I'm telling you. That's the best advice I can give y'all. Also, relationships, friendships, they come and go. Never feel like, you know, you a bad person for how things went or how things didn't go or how, you know, anything. Never beat yourself up. Friends come and go. Men come and go. Women come and go. Everything comes and go. As long as you got yourself and you love you and you stay for you and always keep your business to yourself. Never tell your business to other people unless it's like a best friend. But nowadays you can't even trust that. Hello. Um. You can't even trust that. Come on now. But just, just do what's best for you and what you think is like worth your time and energy. Like in high school, I had started running a business. My family did not know I started a business in high school. They were just confused on why all the packages kept coming to their house. I did it. That's something I wanted to do because I like having money. I like having stuff. You know, I started working at Starbucks. I was stacking my money, saving my money, saving my money, and saving my money, and saving. Saving as much as I can. I got me a little car. It wasn't the top of the notch car, but hey, it got me from point A to point B. That car lasted me for... I would say two, three years. It lasted me two to three years, and I was able to get a up brand new car that I have now. I'm very grateful for. Um, yeah, I saved my money, and I also was able to put my payment and pay my rent at college as well. So saving your money and budgeting if you're gonna work and do all that stuff, make sure you save your money and spend your money wisely in high school. But I'll learn financial literacy early so you could be better off once you graduate and want to do more stuff. Because high school, they teach it to you. And some teachers that actually do want to teach you that and have classes that they teach you, it's just up to you to want to soak in the knowledge that they're giving you. If you don't want to soak in, the, soak in that knowledge, then that's you. A lot of people now that graduated high school don't even know damn 2 plus 2 and it equals 4, if you didn't know. Anywho, it's people who don't even know that. It's people who don't even know about credit. It's some people, it's a lot of stuff that you don't know. But some teachers teach it to you. It's just up to you to actually want to learn it. So with that being said is teach yourself stuff that you know you're not being taught in school. And if you're being taught in school, write it down. Listen to it. It's stuff that you need to know because later on in life, you're going to need that. 
always try to go to a, a community college first if you want to go to university. I did go straight to a university instead of going to a community college. Do I regret it? Yes, I did. But at the same time, I got to know, not know, I gained more experience and stuff. But more budget friendly, I would definitely say just go to a community college where you can go for free or if you're good, if your academics are good and you qualify for the, um, like the scholarship stuff they have where they could pay for your whole tuition or pay at least 80% of your tuition, definitely go for that because it'll help you out in the long run. I'm definitely telling y'all do it. If y'all don't know nothing else, this upcoming class 2025, please say y'all money. Start learning about financial literacy and budgeting, knowing the pros and cons of gaining and losing money early. Always know that and in school don't be hesitant to ask somebody a question because if somebody won't tell you something The next teacher will somebody else may tell you you get a job They'll take the same thing like it's always ask questions always read reading gets you far Reading gets you far on your spare time. You're not doing nothing. Read you some books on financial stuff mindset um relationships friendships i'm telling you never in high school don't try to lock your head on so much of being with somebody be with yourself be with yourself and you can also do have somebody don't get me wrong you can have a significant other but don't make your life so dedicated to them where you lose your gpa is dropping you don't you're failing in all your classes you're just worried about the next what's going on with him what's going on with her no focus on you when you would if you're gonna if you're gonna be in a relationship that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, another question or advice I can say is don't try to do so much bad stuff to fit in with people. Be yourself, be true to you. Don't be trying to change your image to be like the next girl and be like the next boy or be like these group of girls or be like these group of guys. Being around the wrong crowd is not a good look and it gets you in a lot of trouble and maybe can, and you can end up doing it, okay? You could really end up put you first regardless of what it is in high school never fall too short don't fall for the wrong crowd don't fall for the wrong person because honestly none of that stuff is going to get you far and you also want to keep a good look for yourself in the school because at the end of the day those teachers those counselors principals those people are going to be the ones to you never know you will need them to write a recommendation or help you get a job or help you um get a boost in your grade like if you're feeling you're gonna need somebody in the schoolhouse later on that day so it's like you really want to try your best to just keep keep to yourself stay exclusive that's the best advice so i will say that just be yourself do the things that you love to do don't try to worry about other people because if you worry about what other people have to say or what they're doing you're not going to get far in life just don't even teach yourself that now Worry about you, worry about your business, don't worry about nobody else's business. Worry about who? You. And if you worry about your business, it gets you far in life. Don't care about what somebody else doing because it's not worth it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Do it now. Worry about yourself. So you save less time. That concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I hope you guys jot down some of the advice and answer, I answer some of the questions that you guys wanted to know. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this because this is my first time doing a video like this. Uh, took y'all in notes on everything I just said. I really want to do another one for more college advice videos and like um, SATs and all that stuff and how to get scholarships, scholarships that you could apply for to get more money and things like that. So I will be doing a video like that soon if you guys like this video. But anywho, um, yes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give this video a thumbs up and also a comment and I'll see you guys for the next video.